I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an application of derivatives. The question here is find a function of the form f of x equals to x square plus bx plus c with a horizontal tangent at point 411. Now in this equation which is given to us as f of x equals to x square plus bx plus c we have to find two unknowns which are b and c so for that we should have two equations correct one of the equations you can find using the point itself which is 411 when i say that this point let's call this point as p 411 is on the graph of this function that means if x is 4 f of x is 11 right so that gives you the equation as 11 equals to 4 square plus b times 4 plus c right so you get one equation which could be written as 11 equals to 16 plus 4b plus c rearranging you can write this as bringing 16 to the left side 11 minus 16 equals to 4b plus c or minus 5 equals to 4b plus c right so we'll call this as our equation uh, number 2 right so we'll call this as equation 2 this being our original equation given to us now we have to find both b and c we have one equation how do we get the second equation to get the second equation we'll use the concept of horizontal tangent so when I say horizontal tangent, it means what? Horizontal tangent means that the derivative at the given point, which is 4, is equal to 0. Right? So that means horizontal. Is that clear? So let's find derivative of the function using power rule. So we are given the function f of x as equal to x square plus bx plus c. Derivative of this function f dash x is 2x plus b. Now for x equals to 4, derivative is 0. That means this value is 0 for x equals to 4. That means 2 times 4 plus b. Is that clear? From here you can find the value of b which is minus 8 right so minus 8 becomes the value of b once you know b so we found the derivative and we got the value of b we'll call this as equation 3 now you can substitute b to find c perfect so from this equation you could write c as equal to minus 5 minus 4 times b since you know b is minus 8, what is c equals to? Minus 5 times minus 4 times minus 8. And this could be written as minus 5 plus 32, which is 27. Right? So you get the value of c. We'll call this equation 4. But now we have solved both b and c. We can say b equals to minus 8 and c equals to 27. And therefore, the function f of x is equal to x squared minus 8x plus 27. So that is how you can solve such questions. I hope these steps are absolutely clear. One of these kinds of questions could be in your test paper. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.